Welcome again, my friends. I'm in uh, Lisbon, Portugal, in the Alfama neighborhood, supposedly the oldest one in Lisbon. And uh, it has a subsection called Muraria. It's the uh, birthplace of uh, Faro music. And they have a little um, Faro music walk of fame. I'm going to walk in the neighborhood. It's all pedestrianized. A little uh, monument here. To Fado. Here we've got a small hall of fame of the most important Fado singers. I let that group pass. I'll walk in the little neighborhood here. Argentina, Santos. I'll have to admit I'm not very familiar with uh, Fado music, but the little that I've uh, heard is, is pretty good. I like it. Uh, on Spotify, I can also show you later, you would like to, to hear it. But Amalia, with the English, is um, the, the best, the best of the Fado singers. She, because she's, she's uh, a body, she's in the old town where uh, kind of a facility that we have, where we have some of our most uh, and the queen of Fado is here. Artists, so poets, um, uh, Fado singers. Amalia Rodriguez. One I've heard of her. This was very controversial. He was a great footballer, but it was controversial if the footballer yeah. would be deserving going. But he's there uh, side to side with some of our most famous uh, poets and singers. Here in the streets, you'll be seeing a lot of these streets dressed like this as we walk in the old town. This is uh, the preparation for the festivities of St. Catherine, which we celebrate in the big art in the 12th and 13th. I'm hoping this dog is gonna leave me alone. Hey doggy. Good boy. Poor girl. Nice little square here. The entire neighborhood is uh pedestrian streets like this. Lisbon Festival, the Lisbon Party. Fame. Let's see who this one is. There's a little poem, Fado Testament, and Fernando Mauricio. Fernando Mauricio.
don't see a name though. Oh, here. Alberto Costa.